Hey, I'm Daisy. I'm Eli. And I'm Tony. Today we will be explaining how irony plays a part in the cask of Amontillado. To start off, we'll have to explain the different types of irony. First, we have situational irony. Situational irony is when a situation of an outcome is totally different than expected. For example, it's a sunny day at the beach and you're walking down the shoreline and a dinosaur comes out of a time machine with a big A and says, Want to have a tea party? Next, I'll talk about verbal irony. Verbal irony is when a character says one thing and means the complete opposite. For example, after a blind date, a woman calls her friend and says, My favorite part was when he insulted the waiter and asked me to pay for both meals. Lastly, but not least, we got dramatic irony. Dramatic irony is where the audience has more information than the characters in a story. For example, a a girl in a horror film hides in a closet where the killer is. The audience knows the killer is there, but she does not. But irony in the story is dramatic irony, and the role it plays is that the audience knows what happens in the end, but they still get the anticipation to see if they're right or not. Irony creates anticipation or excitement in the cask of Amontillado, because we know Montresor wants revenge, but we don't know what he will do to get that revenge until the end of the story. The reason Montresor wants revenge is because Fortunato insulted him. In the story, it says, but then I learned that he laughed at my proud name, Montresor. The way Montresor killed Fortunato is by burying him alive. The evidence to this is, throwing them to one side, I found bones which earlier I had taken from the wall. Quickly, I began to cover the wall where I f- where Fortunato stood trembling. I hope this video was enjoyable yet informational. I wish you a great rest of your day and goodbye.